Hi, I'm Kirk Baird. I'm the pop culture editor at the Toledo Blade. Today is a banner day for video gamers and classic gaming enthusiasts. Today is the last day to buy Nintendo's NES Classic Edition, at least in a retail store. So I went to Best Buy this morning and talked with some people who were lucky enough to get their golden ticket to the golden age of video gaming. Well, Nintendo discontinued the uh, NES Classic line that was released back in uh, November 2016 and they've been really exclusive online. They've been going for $300, $350. And I found out a couple days ago that Best Buy is gonna be selling the last of their stock on the 24th in a big event. So I talked with my dad, I talked to them to camping out with me because I knew there would be a lot of people here that were gonna be very exclusive. And uh, so at first I was even thinking of coming at about midnight or one in the morning, but we came out around 11. But not everybody was happy about the way Nintendo did this because of the whole supply and demand thing those who didn't get their NES Classic Edition have turned to online auction sites like eBay, driving up prices considerably for the $60 console. Um, this is the first time I ever stood in line for anything ever in my life. <laughs> so, um, you know, we decided to do this last night and, uh, um, you know, I'm disappointed in Nintendo for doing that because it seemed like it went to people who were just trying to sell it for you know the profit mm -hmm. instead of letting you know like kids like my son and the other gentlemen uh, get to play those games. <laughs> Ah, but there is good news for those of us who didn't get an NES Classic Edition. Nintendo is said to be releasing a Super NES Classic Edition console later this year, no doubt leading to more excitement, more sales, and more lines. For the Toledo Blade, I'm Kirk Baird.